Hello friends, it's Christy Marcott. In today's video, I'll be using a variety of pretty pink posh items. I have their decorative birdhouses, their stitched bird dies, large celebrate shadow script. The stamp set is 4th of July, and I also have the coordinating dies. The last two sets I'm using just a tiny bit of each of them. I have the graduation mug additions and spring foliage. I'll start by creating a fun firework background. I have a piece of light blue cardstock and I'm stamping the two firework images from the 4th of July stamp set. The two ink colors I'm using are Suede Shoes and Rocking Red by Catherine Pooler. I'll fill the entire sky with fun patriotic fireworks. While I finish stamping, I have some fun news to share with you. I'm now a member of the Pretty Pink Posh design team and I'm super excited. I've always enjoyed using their products and I love that they're local to Washington State where I live. They sell lots of fun stamps, dies, and stencils that are all made here in the U.S. I did add a little bit of silver watercolor splatter to the background and I'll set that aside to let it dry. Now I'll start working on this sweet little bird image. I cut out the body and the wing from some white cardstock and I'm using the same rocking red ink color to add ink to both of the pieces, doing it darker on the top and gradually getting lighter. And I left the belly of the bird white. One thing that's really fun about the bird dies, all of the pieces are hooked together on one die. So it also cut out the beak and the eye. And instead of cutting out more from orange and black cardstock, I simply use a Copic marker to color both of those tiny pieces. Now I'll add both of them to my bird. I'm putting just a tiny drop of glue on the beak, using an embellishment wand to pick up the super tiny die cut piece and adhering it in place. And I'll do the same thing for the bird's eye. On the wing, I'll add glue just on the upper portion. That way I could curl it up if I want a little extra dimension. For extra detail, I'm using a white gel pen and adding some highlights to the bird's tail, the wing, and also the top of its head. So there is the sweet little bird, and I'll set it aside while I work on the rest of the card. The silver paint splatter is all dry. I'll add this panel onto a card base, but first I'll layer it on some beautiful iridescent blue cardstock. I almost forgot to do that step while I was recording this video. I didn't realize it until I noticed the blue panel wasn't the same size as my card base. You'll only see a small amount of the iridescent cardstock, but it does add beautiful shine. I'll put glue on the back and add my card front onto a card base. And this is an American standard A2 size card, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Now it's time to assemble one of the birdhouses. I love the fun stitch detail. Since this is a patriotic card, I used only red, white, and blue cardstock. The white cardstock has a shimmer finish, so it adds a little extra detail. To assemble all of the pieces together, I'm doing it upside down. I'll add a strip of double-sided adhesive tape on the back side to hold each of the pieces together. For the very bottom of the birdhouse, I'm adding this strip of double-sided adhesive tape on the back side, flipping it over and adhering that bottom trim. Then I'll remove the release paper, and I will be popping up the birdhouse using some thin foam dimension. The foam dimension will also add some extra stability to the birdhouse. I'll make sure to get good coverage so there isn't one area that sags. Then I'll remove the release paper and adhere my birdhouse in the lower right hand corner. The new decorative birdhouses is such a cute set. There are three different birdhouses. My card is featuring the largest house. The medium sized house has some fun stitched vines toward the top. And there are three different sizes of openings for the birdhouse. The Stitch Birds die set also has three different birds. Two are facing right and one is facing left. And all three of the birds look slightly different, so there's lots of fun variety. 
After attaching the birdhouse, I'll add the front door. I cut out the frame of the door from the same white shimmer cardstock. And for the door, I'm using some red iridescent cardstock, just adding that little extra shine to the card. The bird will sit on the left side of the house, and I will pop it up using some foam dimension. I'll add thinner foam dimension behind the bird where it sits in front of the house, and slightly thicker foam dimension on the area that goes off of the house. I'll remove the release paper and add my sweet little bird. On the right side of the house, I'm adding a couple of white flowers and blue leaves. These are from the spring foliage set. I really wanted to stay with the red, white, and blue colors for this card. The only thing that's different is the orange beak on the bird. I use some of the white shimmer cardstock for the flowers, and the very center of the flowers I cut out from blue glitter cardstock. I did pop up both of the flowers with some foam dimension, attach those first, then tuck the leaves underneath. And I did trim down both of the leaf pieces just to get them to fit. Now I'll add the center to each of the flowers. Put a small drop of Barely Art glue, then add the sparkly centers. To decorate the birdhouse for Independence Day, I'm adding some white glitter stars. The die I used is from the Graduation Mug Edition. I'll glue five of them on the trim of the birdhouse. I have one final star to attach. Now I'll start working on the sentiment. I'm adding the large word celebrate. I used more of the red iridescent cardstock for the word celebrate and cut out two of the shadow pieces. One from white shimmer cardstock and the other from vellum. I'll first add the word celebrate onto the white shimmer outline, then put glue on the back and attach this piece onto the vellum, creating a little drop shadow. Then I'll flip it over, put foam dimension on the back, and I made sure to cut those pieces nice and small so they don't show through on the vellum. I finished off the last of this foam dimension sheet, so I did need to pull out another one. They're larger foam squares, so I will trim them down. I'll remove the release paper and add my sentiment toward the top of the card. I love this nice, large, bold celebrate word. It's perfect to use for all kinds of celebrations. Independence Day, birthdays, graduation, anniversary, so many different options. For the rest of the sentiment, I stamped out Happy 4th of July from the 4th of July stamp set, and I trimmed off the word happy. I put foam dimension on the back and adhered it underneath the word celebrate on the right side. So there is my finished card, perfect for celebrating Independence Day. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. I'm super excited to be joining the Pretty Pink Posh design team. Expect to see lots more videos using their fun products. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.